Mahojongwa Festival, which promotes a sense of brotherhood among hill and valley people, reportedly celebrated without presence of anyone from hill areas unlike previous years. Efforts will be made to enforce more stringent traffic rules, informs SP of Traffic Police. India logs 14,623 coronavirus infections, 197 fresh deaths in last 24 hours. COVID-19 naging aktok na ba? Miyam na sapo na tuwing na kutambiyo. To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Box ning tina niyom chum na upiyo. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Amadi, mi amaga, mi amaga di marakta, fit taduklap na pambiyo. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello and welcome to IS of English News at 4. Mera Ho Chongba, the festival of Manipur, which endeavors to promote brotherhood and unity among indigenous communities, is being celebrated today. However, during the celebration held in the morning, despite the festival being aimed at strengthening bond between hill and valley people, no one from hill areas were seen attending the festival unlike previous years. MP of Rajya Sabha, King Leisim Basana along with members of Sanamahi Temple Board, were also present at the celebration organized by Lining Thau Sanamahi Temple Board at Uttara Sanglen. Rituals such as Men Tongba, Mera Thaumai Thanba and Yen Kong Tamba marked the festival celebration. When reporter of ISTV News, Sanal Chauba, raised a question on why people from hill regions were missing the festival and the intention behind the invitation of National PRO of RSS to the main state celebration, which will be held later in the day, MP Sanal Chauba responded that none from the hill regions will be attending Mera Ho Chongba because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And the invitations were sent to RSS members because the members have expressed that they would like to take part in the festival and the MP ruled out any other objectives behind the same. <laughs> ก็ฮาปะสิดะมายามเจยยมงนะโบเนตโพเอนะไฮเนซิมะตามเลยอ่าอีกสิ่งนี้ตะมีสิ่งขันตะตั้งลัดปะเสียสกอยสิ่งก
while the national COVID-19 recovery rate was recorded at 98.15 percent, the highest since March 2020, the ministry said. A decrease of 5,020 cases has been recorded in the active COVID-19 caseload in a span of 24 hours. IS News appeals to the public to wear face masks or follow social distancing norms and washings frequently, as advised by the experts to protect from COVID-19. IS News also urges the public to get vaccinated in order to protect oneself and others from COVID-19. SP of Traffic Police K. Ajit Kumar Sharma stated that a violation of traffic rules and regulations has led to higher congestion and accident rates and to combat these issues, traffic rules will be enforced more strictly whether it's VIPs or common citizens. He was speaking to media persons at a press meet held at his office. SPK Ajit Kumar Sharma further said, continuous drive and checking has been conducted against traffic violators and penalties and fines are levied on the violators by issuing gadget notification. During such checking, many underage minors were found driving vehicles. Some individuals speeding while being intoxicated had led to many tragic accidents and even deaths, he said. Considering the seriousness of the traffic violations, efforts will be made to enforce more stringent traffic rules, the SP informed. He further added that parking is not allowed on highways and those parking permitted areas will be reviewed again to change the parking rules. ไอ้ทบุสิงนะซูนะตรงกับบาซาร์ตะโพลเลเกทันบีบากะโนสิกกับไปเทียนกับพี่ละโพลสมมุติโพลสมมุติโพลสุยาเลเกดิมากิปี
46 awesome rifles under the aegis of 27th Sector IGAR South continued the functions of celebrating the Swarnim Vijay Varsh. The events included movement of Victory Flame from Geljang to the picturesque banks of Kugadam in beautifully decorated boat flotilla, where it was received by the commandant of 46 awesome rifles. Later, the commandant of 46 awesome rifles flagged off a run for Fit India, participated by personnel of the battalion and other children. A tree plantation drive was also carried out at Mata village, followed by friendly football and volleyball matches with local populace. The victory flame was then placed at the quarter guard of the battalion, where the locals and troops and family members paid homage to the victory flame. Now the national and international news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Kushinagar International Airport in a key move to boost Buddhist pilgrimage circuit around the world. The inauguration of the airport was marked by the landing of a flight from Colombo, Sri Lanka, carrying a Sri Lankan delegation of over a hundred Buddhist monks and dignitaries. The Prime Minister arrived in Uttar Pradesh today for the inauguration of the airport and launching of key projects. Kushinagar, among the most important pilgrim spots for Buddhists, is the final resting place of Gautama Buddha, where he attained Mahaparinirvana after his death. Addressing the event, Prime Minister Modi said that the airport is a result of decades of hopes and expectations. Prime Minister Modi further informed Indian Airlines Spicejet is starting a direct flight between Delhi and Kushinagar in a matter of weeks. Among those present at the ceremony were Union Minister of Civil Aviation Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, Uttar Pradesh Governor Anandiben Patel, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and other dignitaries. Petrol diesel prices jumped today to hit fresh all-time highs following a surge in global crude oil rates. In Delhi, petrol and diesel rates increased by 35 pesos to cost 106.19 rupees and 94.92 rupees per litre respectively, according to oil marketing companies. In Mumbai, a litre of petrol is being retailed at 112.11 rupees and diesel is sold at 102.89 rupees per litre. The rising fuel prices in India are not expected to come down immediately. The central government is reportedly in talks with several oil exporting countries on the issue of supply and demand of oils, but there is no possibility of immediate relief in prices. On Monday, a source told ANI that the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas recently raised concerns about the matter of pricing, supply and demand of oils to the major oil producing countries. Two roadside bombs exploded near a bus carrying troops in the Syrian capital Damascus early Wednesday, killing 13 people and wounding others, the state TV reported. The Syrian state TV showed a footage of the charred bus in central Damascus, saying the blast occurred during the rush hour when people were heading to work and school. Such attacks in Damascus have been rare in recent years after government forces captured suburbs that were once held by the insurgents. President Bashar Assad's forces now control much of Syria after military help from his allies Russia and Iran held tip the balance of power in his favor. Before we conclude the headlines once again. Nera Ho Chongba Festival, which promotes a sense of brotherhood among hill and valley people, reportedly celebrated without presence of anyone from hill areas unlike previous years. Efforts will be made to enforce more stringent traffic rules, informs SP of Traffic Police. India logs 14,623 coronavirus infections, 197 fresh deaths in last 24 hours.
That's all we have in the news at 4. We'll be back again with more news at 8 to 9. See you then.